Hey guys and girls, it is Matt from Armstrong Gaming here. We are back with another Torchlight 2 episode. Alright, so we're with Sir Smash. He is kicking some ass. Um, this is directly after episode 2, so there's been no time loss at all from that. And it's designed that if you haven't seen what's going on, watch episode 2, and then straight into this one. That's the idea. Alright, so... I talked last episode about a bit of mana recovery per second. I've managed to find one here, and one of the reasons why I'm doing the video back to back is because I didn't want to log out and lose this opportunity. Uh, 0.5 mana recovery per second, which will bring our mana recovery per second up to 0.8, which is a lot better, which will mean instead of getting 30 mana over 10 seconds, we're going to get 40 mana over what? 8? No, 5. 5 seconds. Just had to do a little bit of quick math. So we're going to buy that, put that there, and we'll sell that, and we'll go back to armor. Um, there's something else I had to look at as well. I was liking this one because it gives me a huge strength bonus. Eight is nice at this level, as well as an additional 100 health. Um, I'm running 844 health at the moment, so that would be a great benefit. And the other one I'm trying to look at is... 5 health recovery per second. 5 health recovery per second! Damn, that is sweet! That's got 1.6 health recovery per second. What can I, we're picking that up. Uh, what do I need? Vitality at 26. Character page. Character page. Vitality at 26. Bam. Done. Um, and this is the sort of thing you need to be able to do. This is the character control stuff that you need to look at. Now, we're up to... 939 hit points. We've got health recovery, 5 every second. I'm just trying to look at what. We're, we're looking at changing out uh, crappy light boots, so it doesn't really matter what we do, but we want to try and get the best with what we can do as well. I like that. But this one gives me dexterity bonuses as well, but. Uh, the, a little bit more to mana, a little bit more to physical armor as well would be good because our physical armor is that one, 33. It's our best though. Um, Alright, let's see, what have we got? We got plus 5 to physical armor. Oh, what's this? Huh, eh, alright, that's, that's pretty sweet. Um, Alright, cool. It's just looking at the armor trinkets and seeing whether or not it's worth getting that sort of boost up the other stuff. Um, oh man, that is nice. How did I miss that? 3.9 health recovery per second at this level is ridiculous. I, I don't get me wrong with the mana. Uh, but damn, that is good. It's being it almost like eight a second, nine a second almost. All right, I reckon we go this one, get the extra health, and also the physical armor. So done. Do that. Check that there. Check that there. Sell it off. Um, I'm almost at level six anyway. All right, cool. So. We are going to visit this one because it might be yep pet tags. Oh, seriously, they do nothing. Ugh. Fail. No, oh, there's another vendor here. Yeah, that's a teleport guy. I don't want to teleport to that place. That place is a bit too high up for my abilities. What are you? Provides synergy specific items. This guy must have been put in. Yeah, alright, cool. That's useless to us. So we're going to walk back to where we last uh, ended that, and we're going to wander into here. And this was red before because we were level four, oh, 3 or 4, and now we're level 5. We can go into the temple steps with a bit more confidence. Especially with a whole bunch of those extra bonuses we just picked up as well. They're going to be pretty sweet. Come on, loading screen. Like I, I know that you're doing other stuff in the background, but come on. Uh, 
Oh, an elite wall marker. You can already start to see the effect that, that um, all those little changes have made to my character. Like, I'm using my flame hammer more and more now, which is of obviously the greatest benefit to my character. Like, I want to be able to use that without issue. Like, I want to be able to continually use it. Like, it, it shouldn't be a um, something that I ever stop using in combat. Like, I need to be able to just hold down my right button and just destroy everything in sight and then that combat to be over. That's the aim. Just oh, there's a heavy sword there that I need to take some look at and see if I can get my damage up. Because obviously my damage is for my um, flame hammer is based on my weapon and the better my weapon is the more damage it'll do uh, which means I can use it less and that's got a benefit as well. Alright, so you can see that I'm at that stage now in this combat where I have to actually use a health and mana potion. And that's sort of what I want to try and avoid. Um, not that they're not useful, just that I want to be able to make my character a bit more self-sufficient. You can see I'm blowing through mana at the moment, trying to use my flame hammer as much as possible. Almost there. I'm going to use it all up. I'm not going to use the health potions because I'm so close to... There it is. There's that level I was looking at. Because it puts me back in the full hit points and mana. And it's a good idea to keep an eye on that sort of um, bar as well. Um, hey, there we go, got that guy. Uh, let's get this Warmaker and his friends down and we will call it a combat. And we will go and we'll just have a look at some of the gear that we've just picked up. Also, all the other little bits of music. Oh, come on! Alright. So yeah, my mana recovery is a lot better now than it once was. That was pretty kill. Cool. Alright, so let's just wander here and have a look at stuff. Um, flame hammer up a notch because now we're doing... Uh, it's going to be at 4 level, which is pretty sweet. And then when it hits tier bonuses, I'll talk about tier bonuses when we get to that, but... For the moment, let's not worry about that. Let's leave those available because I like to be able to spend them as required. Heavy saw, two-handed, 92 damage a second. Hmm. If, if it had sockets, it'd be okay because it could just plug the sockets in to pull its damage up. But let's just chuck that over there and continue on. Get back here, Deathflinger. Really? Dude, I'm over here. Stupid AI. Alright, so I'm going to try and keep these videos short as I said last time as well. Like, There's only so much I can talk about at the start of the game. Like, there's, um, obviously <laughs> there is a quest plotline that I'm not following. Maybe I should probably follow it a bit. Um, maybe that's something I could do differently in this video comparative to all my other game playthroughs. Like, it won't be the first time I've completed this game, and it probably won't be the last, but it'll probably be the first time I've ever paid attention to the storyline. And that's the difference between voice acting and non-voice acting games, in my opinion. You put a cutscene in with voice acting, and I'm paying attention, and I'm like, wow, this is really pretty, and I stop. And you stop wanting to kill things, you're like... Wow, and that's just something that Diablo 3 has over this game for me. Like, yes, Diablo 3 has a lot less of those buttons. So that's actually something I prefer. I'll, I'll, you will see me. I'll, I'll stick to, like, a couple of abilities, and that'll be enough. Pretty much, I stick to my passives in this game, because too many buttons is not of much benefit to me. Like, don't get me wrong, some of them have some real benefit. I'll be using them. Others, I'll just be like, I'm not going to pick this up, because I've already got too many buttons as it is. Um, but yeah, that pretty storytelling, um, the ability to put in high quality videos with vo good voice acting is something that Torchlight 2 just does not have. And that is fundamentally their downfall. Admittedly, um, Diablo 3 cost me something like uh, total cost, both the expansion and the regular game 
we're talking upwards of maybe 130 to 150 dollars across all that you can get it cheaper obviously as you know, I'm talking like I picked up the game as it appeared in Australia and I picked up the expansion online as it was available um, so secret fishing hole here which is really good three attempts it gives you better items I'm hoping to pick up at least a pet tag tinder tag yeah awesome um, so by comparison torchlight I picked up two copies one for my girlfriend one for me um, and if I bought the four pack the four pack would have cost like forty four dollars forty five dollars literally for what you're paying for Torchlight 2 I can buy four copies of the game for a fraction of the cost of one copy of Diablo huge just huge differences alright so we're gonna give that to our what? oh it's a shield oh oh that's useless you can, you can put that there I don't use shields um, alright, 54 health, 5 fire damage, 2 health stolen on here. 13 fire damage, 14 poison damage. There we go. Oh, that was a small bonus. Yeah, we're going with the fire one. The fire one seems to do more damage. Oh, you can win 2. Oh, sweet. How did I not notice that just be then? Alright, so cool. That's that's a huge upgrade for our little birdie. Whose name is Cookie! Cookie! Oh, no, no, no. Sorry, just channeling the Cookie Monster here all of a sudden for some inane reason. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, man, you've had a really severe, lacking childhood. Like, Sesame Street. Come on, bro. Do you even Sesame Street? Alright, so... Obviously, this game's got a lot of rinse and repeat. It is a hack and slash. You are literally going to spend more often than not sitting in gameplay footage of this, seeing me kill things. I'm going to try and do a little bit of inventory and um, item control, like you saw me doing at the start of this video and the end of last video, where I was like trying to buff my stats in certain areas, uh, so that way I could get huge benefits. There you go, you've got a whole bunch of fame. And we're about to hit another fame. Bam. You've attained the rank of broken. Or broken or something. Ah, oh, it's just... Hey, level up. Sweat. Crash. Alright. So, now we've hit level 7, which is pretty cool. Um, so, I'm just trying to gather all the enemies into one area for flame hammer. I'll stop flame hammering for a second as more enemies come in. Alright, uh, just drag them all into the one little area. And then flame hammer. It also doesn't bode well for me because then they can all hit me at multiple times, but I seem to be doing alright. Like I've got enough in terms of hit points plus mana. Uh, we're over a thousand hit points now. I got enough health recovery is what I was thinking of, not mana. Plus, I got like 19 potions left. Come on. Because right, I spent. Oh, another 255 fame. Nice. Oh, 225, I should say. Sorry. Some more specs, which are socketable items. Uh, so, sockets become where you start to pick up your DPS as well, so damage per second in case you're not aware of what I'm referring to. Uh, because they do add directly to the weapon's damage per second, uh, some of them more so than others, so you need to pick which ones you use, how you use them. Poison, mm, uh, it has a, a slow effect of damage over time, so it doesn't really have that level of effect that you really want in some aspects. But other than that, it seems to do the job pretty well. So this has got more mana recovery, but I do lose 5 strength, 5 dex, and 15 mana for... Well, we lose 1 mana and gain 2 physical armor for 0.2 mana regeneration. Not really worth it, in my opinion. That's oh, my huge health recovery per second, and we're not, we're not sacrificing that just yet. Uh, what are you? Loss of 1 health. 
Loss of two strength. Oh, loss of one strength, I should say. Gain of seven mana and poison armor. Cool. And sometimes when you do change over your items, you can find that you miss out on other items that you're currently wearing and they'll automatically drop off because you don't meet the requirements. Uh, it's one of the reasons why I've still got some stat points up my sleeve uh, for when those things happen. And that's just a strategy I learned through a bit of trial and error and also a bit of stupidity when you were just like, oh, I can't quite get it to do what I want it to do and everything drops off and that one upgrade that you had automatically just drops off like another three items and you're left pretty much naked on the battlefield. It's not a good scenario to be in. Cool. Alright, so let's have a look. I've got two skill points. Let's pick up heavy lifting. It's over hammer. The, um, healing bot's pretty sweet, but I don't think I'll go that way just yet. Force field. And then half around force field around allies. Once the force field around reaches and it dissipates, removing all benefits. Uh, that's pretty sweet. That's what I usually go for. I can't even remember what I usually go for. Stormburst looks pretty cool. Um, let's go heavy lifting. Another point in heavy lifting. Two points in heavy lifting. All done. Alright. So Sir Smash is doing alright. He's picked up a couple more healing potions. He's up to 20 again. He's got some decent mana recovery and health recovery at the moment, which is actually paying a lot of dividends, those two expenses. Expenditures, I should say. Um, they've really added a depth to his abilities, which mean that he can just go for longer, and that's something you really want to look at, especially very early game. Uh, and then late game, obviously, that, that it'll go without saying that you need those um, sorts of items I, you don't want to be super reliant upon your potions. Like I've got one hand off my keyboard. I'm literally just playing with a mouse at this point. Just because you can just... I'm only using two abilities and they're right and left click. Like I've got it simplified. 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 Uh, not simplified. Simplified for me. Um, as I said, I don't like to really use a lot of buttons. Cool, we've discovered one of the areas where we need to go. I think what we'll do is we'll do a little bit more management after we kill this big hero. Cool. Um, so after we kill this hero, we'll head back into town. He's got power slash, uh, power slash attack, and he is quick, apparently. So he's probably doing it at a faster rate than most people would use their power slash. Cool. A whole bunch of fame. And we'll head back to town and they'll call it a day. Ooh, hiccup. Alright, so now that we're back in town, let's have a look at what the other arms we picked up. 1.3 mana recovery. Damn, that is nice, but we're not sacrificing our um Oh, that's nice too. For both points. I'm not sacrificing our health recovery. I'm I'm not health recovery is more important to me than mana recovery because like, let's face it if you're a liar if you're dead what point like there's no point in being dead and having mana I should probably start checking these in the stash alright what are you you're sold you're sold you're sold and then they can all go into there sell all from you as well alright let's just check out as you can see he's um changed items again alright so we got an increase of 0.5 mana recovery and a dexterity attribute bonus which is quite nice let's see what else we got alright so oh we lost an item so we need 26 on vitality character page bam 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 done Cool, and that's what I was talking about before, where you just items drop off you. 
And as soon as you put that, uh, put that on, it was like, no, you don't have these requirements dropped off. Are we really looking for a weapon, though? Uh, that is an upgrade, but I want an upgrade and a socket. Damn, that'd be nice, but just doesn't quite have what we want in. This is what we want. 155 damage per second. Slot. Whole bunch of stuff. And health. Oh, stolen in here. Mine. Mine iron. Uh, what do I want to put into it? I want to put this in at 80% damage to secondary targets. Um, that'll help me sweep up the extra guys. Um, and Chaos Ember Specs pretty easy to get replaced. But it's the only one of those I've seen. Dual wielding. I, nev I will never need that. So let's sell that. Just sell that as well. Physical, physical. Oh, it's, oh, it's fire. 80% damage to secondary targets. Bam. And it's just as simple as click, clicking and placing. Cool. We have our new weapon, which is what I wanted. We still haven't got a belt. Show me items. Where's a belt? How have I not got a belt? Buyback items you've sold. No belts. Man, what? Crazy. Nope. Uh, nope. 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 There was something here with purple. Here it is. So set pieces, um, as you have more of that type of set, so this is the room master set, you get those benefits. When you've got two pieces, you hit plus 3% attack speed, which is nice. And at three pieces, you get plus 12% health. Damn, that is good. It's in that slot, though. Um, and then the blue sections of it can change. There's variables that they've laid into those items that they'll change between that. I'm not going to pick that up. Like It's not really worth me trying to find a room master set. I'm on this character at least. I'll try and find it on my other characters and then move them into the shed stash. Alright, so that's uh, episode 3 of the Torchlight series done. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying it as much as I am playing it. I will look into the storyline a bit more so I can tell you some fun things about what's going on. And I'll try and pay attention in all the aspects. So we've still got four stat points left over in case we need them. We've got no skill points left over. We're waiting for the next level of that so we can get closer to that first tier which gives us five sp flaming splinters that travel eight meters then goes up to six then up to seven. If you have any suggestions on which ones you'd like me to see jump on the um, torchlight forums and so forth and give us an idea of what you guys think benefits the engineer the most. And I'll start to gear towards that. Alright, this has been Matt. This is Armstrong Gaming. This is part of the Freedom Network. We will see you guys for the next episode. Take care. Have a good day.